Hey everybody and welcome to Plastic Nostalgic, where all toys are nostalgic, eventually. Now today I have another Super Powers, DC Super Powers vehicle, this time it's the Batmobile. I would say it's the most famous of the DC Super Powers vehicles, so I can't wait to get this one out of the box and check it out. Today we have the DC Superpowers Batmobile from McFarlane Toys, Batman Action Vehicle. And you can see it here on the front, has a little look to it that kind of resembles a lot of the different Batmobiles throughout the years, like the fins on the back and that Batman face on the front, the bat symbol on the wheels. Very classic looking Batmobile from the DC Superpowers line, of course. Here is the actual car with Batman inside. And on the back, you can see it has hidden rocket boosters. That's pretty awesome. A battering ram. And it seats two figures figures sold separately. So let's take a look at this inside. Okay, yeah, we got a little tape, so let's take the tape and remove it. And see what we have inside. Okay, there's something on that. Just another piece of plastic inside the box here. It doesn't have anything on it. Some more cardboard, but now the box is empty. And on one of these pieces of plastic, We have the fins. Imagine they go on there like this. Somehow they got a little thing they're supposed to snap into there. There we go. I did not expect it to be, there we go, got it in there. Didn't expect it to be so tricky. But there we have that Batmobile. There's that bat mask on the front. If I'm correct, it activates the battering ram. Villains beware. It also has the secret rocket boosters. Spring loaded, come right out of the trunk. It gives the Batmobile extra speed. First battering ram. Pretty neat. Says it seats two figures in there and you can see in the controls that the steering wheel is also the bat signal. So let's get some characters out and see how they fit inside. Okay, so I got the Batman since this is the Batmobile. I figured I would set him right inside. Oops. I'll have to get that cape tucked in just right. So it's not flying out behind him. Get him situated in there. And there's the Batman in the Batmobile. Ready for action. 
so I can adjust his legs a little bit there and fit him right inside a little better. You don't want that cape blowing out behind you, causing tra problems in traffic. But he fits rather nicely in there. And let's see how his good friend, his super friend, Wonder Woman fits in there. Oh, she fits rather nice. Small framed action figure. Slides right in there. And he's ready to fight crime with whatever partner can fit in the side. And since Wonder Woman fits right in there, I'm sure the Flash would as well. But the Flash doesn't really need to ride in the Batmobile because he's a little faster than it. Even with the secret rocket boosters. Well, Superman decided he wanted to ch give it a shot as well. Batman reminds him to tuck his cape in. Well, and quit setting off the battering ram. Superman fits in there. Pretty good as well. Now let's see if the battering ram works on Deathstroke. Yeah, oh, took him down. And since he doesn't have a, a jail cell in the Batmobile, he'll just have to carry him to jail in the Batmobile. I'm sure he'll be tied up And every time a new character gets in, they seem to always set off the battering ram. Now here's another figure, Dark Side, from the Planet Apocalypse. Also no match for Batman's battering ram. But let us see if he could be a passenger in the Batmobile. Nope, he did set off that again. But Dark Side needs a little vehicle or a big vehicle of his own. So we're going to set him aside. And then we'll have to get his old partner, the fellow who used to be Robin, Nightwing. And he looks like he was, yep, yeah, set that thing off again. That battering ram is pretty touchy. But Nightwing looks like he was designed to go in there. And handle all the controls. And help Batman operate his jet boost. And of course, everybody got to turn the battering ram. So there we have, from McFarlane Toys... The DC Superpowers Batmobile. A rather large vehicle, but a nice addition to my Superpowers collection. Room. Thanks for joining us today on Plastic Nostalgic, where all toys are nostalgic. Eventually. And if you want to see some more unboxing of some soon-to-be nostalgic toys, be sure to like and subscribe. And leave me a comment down below and tell me who your favorite Superpowers action figure is. See y'all next time.